Voila, if you are watching the replay, uh, you might want to fast forward a minute or so uh, while I get all of this set up, or if you're watching on YouTube, that too. Uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial about key search. I've been asked a lot of questions about key search, and to be honest, I don't know everything there is to know about key search, so I felt kind of intimidated about sharing it with you guys. Um, just because, you know, I, I like to be as knowledgeable as possible before I create a video. However, I do know a thing or two. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. There we go. And I'm just going to show you a few things that I love about key search. So if you go to sadiesmiley.com forward slash key search and you sign up, Use the coupon code KDISC, K-D-I-S-C. For some reason, my affiliate link isn't working and tracking. I haven't gotten paid any money, but uh, in the off chance that I maybe make a couple bucks, please use the affiliate link, sadiesmiley.com forward slash key search. But to get the discount, you want to use KDISC at checkout. So key search is an alternative to expensive SEO keyword research tools. Uh, the way I use it is I just grab like my top level keyword and come in here and search it. So like uh, earlier I was looking at Italy itinerary and you just put your keyword in and then you have various options here. You really don't need to worry about locations. You can just leave all locations or you can search just the U.S. And then you can choose related keywords, database, Google Suggest, Bing Suggest, YouTube, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Pinterest, Suggest, Competitors Keywords, Import Keyword List, or Import Keyword Planner CSV. I just stick with related keywords or database. So we're going to click on related keywords and then click search. Over here on the right, it's going to show you the keywords that come up. And remember, these are related keywords, so you're going to use several of them. If you're writing a blog post about an Italy itinerary, you're going to want to include as many of these other keywords as you can, right? And then uh, the next section here is the volume. We all know that keyword volume is basically crap, um, but it does give you, you know, a little bit of an indication on whether or not you're going to get some search traffic though you should not be afraid to go after really low search volume words. So for example, this one right here says 70. If this was a keyword I wanted to use, I would go for it. Um, the next is cost per click. We don't worry about that, pay per click, and then the score. This is the competition on a scale from zero to 100. So lower is better, whereas with the volume, higher is better. I'm not going to teach too much about SEO because, again, I'm not an expert. Just want to show you around key search, but this is how I do it. So I have all of my related keywords. I look at the volume. I look at the scores. If you ever find anything in blue, holy moly, grab it. So this one's 18, and it shows the search volumes over only 140. So maybe I'll write an entire blog post on a Pisa itinerary. And then I'll create a landing page that also has like a paragraph or two about Pisa itinerary and links to that post, right? Um, and then we have other towns, um, Rome itinerary, four days. And the thing with this is with the volume, it says 210. But because you're using other keywords, you may get thousands of page views because you can add all of the numbers up. It's not just one keyword. If for some reason this is not highlighted, it doesn't have a number, you can click check and it will show you what the keyword uh, competition is right there. Another thing that this does over here, let's see, I'll click on this one. So over here on the left, it's going to show you the search trends. And you can click on deep analysis. You can export this as a PDF or a CSV. If you click on deep analysis, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to give you more to look at. So go ahead and click on deep analysis and see what it comes up with.
We'll see if I have the patience for this. It says it may take up to 60 seconds. I'm not, I'm not the patient. That's okay. So also on the left-hand side, you're going to see the SERP analysis, the ranking, the domain authority that other competing blogs have. Like it's going to show you uh, which blogs are on the front page of search. All right. Now, right here, like I said, these are the search trends. So it looks like in June and July, the search trend for Italy itinerary is a much higher than in, say, February. I highly doubt that February is zero based on these other numbers, but that's what Key Search says. This shows you which blogs are ranking for this keyword, what their page authority is, their domain authority, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, Facebook shares, Pinterest shares, all kinds of stuff, right? And now down here are the LSI keywords. And I think it means like latent semantic, it means related, but what is an LSI keyword? I forgot the name of it, latent semantic or something like that. What is LSI? We'll see, latent semantic index. It is a computer program that is designed to learn a wide variety of synonyms based on context. <coughs> it is a method that uses mathematical techniques to find relationships between words and concepts within a piece of content. They are crucial to SEO. Uh, now, this is going to show you the related keywords. One word, two word, three words. Italy bucket list. Oh my gosh, bucket lists are always gold. Uh, so this is what the deep dive looks like. It's not really a ton of information, but you can download these LSI keywords to use in your post. Uh, over here, you can also see rankings and traffic. So once all of this loads, you're going to see the URL keywords, the URL traffic, domain keywords, and domain traffic. So you can see what you're up against. Down here, it shows search engine keyword suggestions. So you could do a 30 days in, in Italy itinerary, Italy itinerary three weeks. And again, you can uh, save these keywords, compare them, export them. This is just on the main page, you guys. There's so much to see in key search. I don't think that I don't think that many people that use key search realize how powerful this tool is. I know that I didn't for the longest time. So after we do the keyword research, there's actually inside keyword research, there's actually other options to look at. So if you click on quick difficulty, uh, this is a post. I wrote a DoorDash post, and this is one of the ones that I was searching. Uh, so this shows you... Again, the trends, you can do a deep analysis here. It shows you exactly what was on the other uh, screen, but then you have a section over here where you can save keywords. This was for a client, so I just deleted that. Um, let's see what we could do. I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like whenever you research it. So you. When you put your keyword in, it stays over here. And that's the difference between here and the first part too. The, the first page that we were just at, the main dashboard, it doesn't save anything except for your last search. This saves uh, your last however many searches. I'm not sure. I can't tell you. I don't know. But it's got four in here now. And I know that these are things I searched for this week. Uh, you can also change the location here. But again, I just use the United States. Save, compare, and export over here on the right. My lists. I don't think I've looked at this. No, I haven't. So we're not even going to talk about that because I have no idea. Brainstorm. So over here, you can start typing an idea and suggestions will be supplied from popular search engines. So you can see different trends that are happening right now. Google trends, Twitter trends. Uh, this is Amazon stuff. I've never used this at all. So I put in Italy and it says Italy time, Italy COVID, map of Italy, a bunch of towns uh, in Italy, lots of different ideas, if nothing else, right? Uh, and that covers all of the keyword research section. Now, if you click on Explorer, 
you can check out your own blog. So put in your blog URL right there. Let's put in uh, smileyspoints.com. And this is going to give you a report. It's going to show you the domain strength, the score to target. So remember when we talked about the zero to 100? Hi, Jeannie. Uh, whenever we talked about the zero to 100 competition at the beginning, this is what it's showing you. Basically, uh, it, I don't know how to explain it. It should be fairly easy for you to target 31 or below and rank. If you're getting into the 40s and the 50s, it's going to be much harder. You're going to have to worry about other things. So we'll talk about that in a second. This shows organic keywords, and you can look at more of them. I'm not going to pull them up, but you can see the top keywords by position right here. Uh, this shows you position, volume, traffic. Down here, you can see top competitors to your website. You can view the competitors and kind of go into detail as well. Now over here, this shows how many keywords you have that you're ranking for in different uh, like levels. So this is one to three, position one to three, Smiley's Points has 38 keywords. If you look right here, position four to 10, 412 keywords. What I like to do is I like to figure out, okay, what am I ranking for in the four to 10 position? Because if you can bring those up to the one to three position, your traffic's going to go through the roof. All right. Over here, this isn't a very good breakdown for you. Uh, it will show you a breakdown of the anchor text that drives clicks to your website. You can see top referring domains here. So where have you gotten your links from? Where have you gotten your page views from? That kind of thing. This shows your backlinks building, uh, your backlink building, and it shows your do follow percentage. So you want to have as many do follow links as you can, but those are harder to get the no follow. So what I like to do is include my links in roundups that other bloggers are creating. And uh, many times they'll do do follow. But this gets, you get to see your work in progress. And then if for some reason you start losing a bunch of backlinks, then you know you need to fix something, right? So you got your backlinks number here, your referring domains here. You can view the domains there. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, you can also just check a specific page if you want. Then the next thing is competitive analysis. You can check your backlinks, your organic keywords, your competitor gap. So you can put in a competitor and see where you need to fill in the gaps to beat them. Uh, URL metrics and then page analyzer. So you can actually analyze one of your pages using that section. Uh, YouTube research I've never used. So let's see what happens when we go here. Italy itinerary. All right, so what are we seeing here? This feels exactly like the same, like on the front page. Did I do it wrong? <coughs> no, it's so it's exactly like the front page, but you've got YouTube videos here. All right, so maybe you want to see uh, what somebody else did. Here is a video. This video, holy moly, it's got 1.4 million views. So if you're going to do a video, you definitely want to check these out. If you're not going to do a video, this is where you get the good videos to embed into your posts because you want videos in your posts, even if they're not your own. It's obviously best to do your own, but if you can't or you don't want to, you're not ready, yada, 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 then pull these top ranking videos. You're going to see the key search, uh, the key, the keyword volume and competition over here. And these might be different than on the front page uh, for a blog post. Maybe. Yeah. So this is a 62, whereas Italy road trip is what we're looking at. So Italy road trip is a 62 on YouTube and a 
33 on the blog post. Holy cow, that's a huge difference. Uh, so you can look up YouTube research, YouTube difficulty. Uh, there's a YouTube list. And then you can go to rank tracking and put in your URL. And it's going to show you, oh, you have seven that you've increased, that you've gone up. Uh, well, I guess down in position, up in position, up in position, because you've gone down in numbers. So you're going up closer to number one. Uh, and this shows you, so it'll either be a green arrow up or a red arrow down. And it's going to tell you if you've lost a rank, if you've gained a rank, that kind of thing. Uh, and then content assistant. Oh man, this is powerful. So over here, if you're writing a blog post, uh, whether you're writing it in Jarvis or Outranking or just in Google Docs, it doesn't matter. You can even take PLR. Uh, if you haven't bought PLR yet, go to plrforblogs.com. PLR, F-O-R, B-L-O-G-S dot com. That's my PLR site. And you can buy super cheap, high quality PLR that I wrote. Uh, and you can plug it into here and change it, add it. As you're writing over here, on the right-hand side, you're going to see some magic happen. You're going to see these turn green when they are mentioned in your post. So let's do DoorDash driver. Or Oh, it turns blue. My bad. So it turns blue as you mention these things because these are the LSI keywords that are the most used phrases within the front page of Google. So the top 10 people that are in the search results, use these words. That's what they're, that's what they're telling you. You don't have to include all of them, but it's important to include some of them. It also shows you your word count and the average Google first page word count. So my DoorDash post, when I saw 2469, and I know that my domain authority isn't very high on sadiesmiley.com yet, my DoorDash post has over 4,000 words. So I made sure that I over-delivered in that section. And then the must keywords, I made sure I included as many as I could organically. Do not keyword stuff. Do not try to get all of the words in there. It's not going to work. You can click on keywords and see basically, again, the same thing. These are just different keywords that you can check out. Research. This is where you're going to see the snippets from usually the front page of search, I think. Yes. SERP top pages. You can click on a view article and you can see it right in the dashboard. You don't even have to leave key search. You can click on questions and ask and answer these questions in your post. So like this says, can I apply for DoorDash without a social security number? When you click on that, it actually takes you to basically the answer. Um, let's see, is there right here? It says, unfortunately you can't. Social security numbers listed in their requirements. Here's the full list. Well, guess what? Now you have a full list of requirements for your blog post. So definitely use the questions. If you need more questions, go over to Google, put in your keywords, and look at the people also ask section. And then SERPs, these are, again, just the top ranking pages. You can look at, click on view page. Right here, this says view page. Look at the word count. 3253. You know you've got to beat that, right? 10 things to know before becoming a DoorDash driver. Um, just look through these and see, is there anything that you missed in your post that you need to add? You can also export these. So if you're using a virtual assistant or you have someone that you've hired to create content for you, you can come in and do all of this research and then send it over to them and wrap it up in a nice little bow. So they do it in the way that you want them to and the way that is the most efficient for your blog. Now, I know that was a lot to go over and cover all at once uh, if you're unfamiliar with Key Search. So what I would challenge you to do is to log into Key Search. Be sure to use that coupon code to save money whenever you sign up. Um, but log into Key Search and have my video pulled up either in another screen or another window beside it. So side by side, you can put your keywords in and you can know what each of the things are saying. And if you have any questions, leave them below and I will be sure to come back and answer them. Let me know if you want me to do more Key Search videos and I will. Thanks for watching.